north coast of Spain, maybe 30 kilometers west from Bilbao. What a beach line, huh? Let me now give you three very good reasons to avoid highways and one situation in which will be almost necessary to use the highways. I think it is time for another coffee stop, maybe somewhere here in this village. This is Pan Plona. And this is me sitting on the top of this interesting place, seeing the whole town. It is uh, 10.30. I came here two days ago and the plan was to stay just one day but I've got the friends here and they said they just stay a little bit longer so I decided to have this two days break and I really needed it because I was really tired after three weeks of riding with only one day off so it was a good point to me but uh, I also decided uh, that it's time to change my brake path because as you can see they're almost finished they've got like one millimeter more and because in the next few days I'm gonna have many many kilometers I think that now is the right moment to change it I have the spare with me so I'm gonna do it now I hope without any problems and then I will continue the job is done it took me like half an hour because I didn't have the proper metal nail to unpinch this pin but uh, I found a different solution did it all done now I have a new brakes they should be ready for at least 9,000 more kilometers today it will be again day off as I told you I stayed here with friends and uh, We'll see them and tomorrow morning uh, I'll continue my journey direction Portugal. Good morning. After I spent three days here with my friends in Pamplona, I'm ready to continue. Uh, I didn't plan so, such a long break, but they were so nice. They just they did not let me go because I haven't seen them for many years and they said well when we're gonna see you again stay two more days and I stayed anyway now I'm ready to move to the north coast and from there I'm gonna enter Portugal for today I have planned around 500 kilometers and uh, I'm gonna spend the night in one coast town and tomorrow we'll go to Porto or at least this is the plan for now uh, I don't think that it's going to be so interesting for today mostly just like non-paid highways maybe some national roads I don't think that I will have much to film but it is what it is I just need to get to Portugal on Friday they will be already four weeks and I'm still not in Portugal so I like Spain I like Spanish people I like everything here this is maybe one of the few countries around the world that I can live also here uh, Spanish government organizes 20% uh, 20 cents per liter discount on the petrol stations because of the high prices that they've got at the moment it is 18 degrees at the moment but this is just now quarter to eight during the days it's going to be very very hot and uh, 
south part of Spain and also south part of Portugal at the moment they've got this very very bad heat wave so everybody suggests stay on the north as more as possible that's why I got the north road now at least you have two more days maybe this heat will go away before I enter Portugal until I reach the coast it will be road like this more or less it looks like I'm not going to get any heat today and it will be even cold it is 16 degrees now foggy and rains a bit let's see I've got like 30 minutes rain nothing serious just drops and now it stopped and the air is so fresh now wonderful and so green so yes this road to Bilbao it's really beautiful and yeah, enjoyable I hope the one that I'm gonna get on the coast will be even better and 240 was the the number of the road this now is Bilbao a lot of big business is concentrated in, in this part of Spain I'm not going to stop here just it's a point on my direction until I get into the sea but yes it's a big city so I finally came into the coast road which is like this beautiful road going through the villages it is very slow road if I use it only these roads without the highway which is on the top free highway I'll be there like 7 o'clock in the evening if I got on the highway on the top I'll be there at 3 o'clock in the afternoon but here is just so much better have a look now what kind of view I've got from here see this beautiful beach north coast of Spain maybe 30 kilometers west from Bilbao what a beach line huh ah man this is wonderful I like to be on the place of these guys down there I'm gonna use this coast road for now if it's too slow I can always jump on the highway which is on the top it became 21 degrees no traffic perfect visibility just great let me now give you three very good reasons to avoid highways and one situation in which will be almost necessary to use the highways the very first reason to avoid it it's obvious because here is way better the second is because you're gonna see much more for example now I can see the towns and the villages that are nearby and the third reason is because it is going to be cheap this reason I'm gonna split to three different sub reasons the very first is that because you ride on a low speed your motorcycle will consume less petrol also the petrol station in the towns and villages are always on better price than the, the one on, on the highways and the third is that here you'll be able to find local restaurants even supermarkets and buy your food way way cheaper at the end of everything your trip will be cheap and the one situation when you really need to ride on the highway is when you don't have any time because now in my case the difference between riding here and the highway is four hours I think it is time for another coffee stop maybe somewhere here in this village these small breaks even for just 10-15 minutes they make such a big difference in your riding uh, I'll say safety because before that I was like sleepy just tired a little bit bored now I'm just again nice so I highly recommend stop more often you'll enjoy the trip more beautiful road here 
beautiful. these small coast towns are extremely beautiful especially this one here is just spectacular Welcome to Foss. Okay. All right. After 10 hours of riding, I arrived in Foss. It is located on the north part of Spain. Small town. I'm gonna spend the night here. And tomorrow we'll hit south direction Portugal. Good. If I find a place to eat, will be fantastic. Let's make a loop around the town because as I can see it might rain later. So I probably won't be able to to walk around okay here left Foss never heard about it beach resort town okay I got it all right I made the loop it looks like somewhere here I'll be able to eat okay so this should be the hostel that I booked. Yes, this is. Okay. This is the hostel that I booked for 15 euros, one five. It looks like I'll be alone. This person that uh, showed me everything, he said that we don't expect any more guests tonight. Of course, I've got sheets, blankets, towel, everything. And it's very very close to the port. This is the port where I have been just five minutes ago. So I'll go there to eat something. The bike is parked right in front of the hostel, in front of the camera, so shouldn't be any problems. This is the path. Clean, which is good. Toilet, everything is alright. Yeah. <laughs> For me, this is a big deal, and this is me going around the room with the helmet, whatever, 6 o'clock.